law enforcement officials, school officials from around Middlesex County have come here to the Boston University Corporate Education Center to attend a day-long safety summit. There are a number of speakers, but perhaps most significantly is the uncle of the first person killed at Columbine, Rachel Scott. Larry, I just wonder what the, what the message is that you want to deliver here today. Today the message is about kindness and compassion. And um, my niece Rachel, who was the first person to be shot and killed at Columbine a few years ago, she practiced that every day of her life. A week after Rachel's funeral, my brother, which is Rachel's dad, was walking around in Rachel's room looking at all her things, reminiscing, crying together, missing her very much. Whenever my brother just happened to look down and see a piece of paper laying next to her bed, and he picked it up and he began to read it. And he noticed that it was an essay that Rachel had written for her fifth period class, and she called it My Ethics, My Codes of Life. ...to people who were less fortunate than her, those who were um, uh, disabled, those who were being picked on, those who were uh, being put down every day at school, and she made a big difference in people's lives. And that's what the message is about today, is being kind and compassionate and showing that every day of our lives. And as we begin to read it, he notices that Rachel challenges her reader to start what she called the chain reaction of kindness and compassion. She says this, I have this theory that if one person will go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction of the same. People will never know how far a little kindness will go. I just find it... I guess ironic, for lack of a better word, that Rachel was the first victim because she did show so much compassion, so much caring. Yes, yeah, she was the first victim, and it, she actually had a premonition that she was going to die at a young age, and we talked about that in the presentation today, which is kind of can sound kind of weird, but she really did. She talked to her friends about that. Uh, she talked to even my own uh, kids about that herself, who she was real close to, and she was the person that just went out of her way to make a big difference in people's lives, um, um, showing kindness. Well, just as they got settled under the tables, in comes the two killers, Eric and Dylan. Bursting through the library doors, their guns blazing, shooting and killing students instantly without saying a word for about the first two minutes. Well, from under the table, my nephew Craig watched as ten of his classmates were gunned down. A teacher ran and screamed. She was screaming that there were two kids outside of the school with guns that were shooting other students, and she was in such a terror. You've got to get to the heart of kids and the heart of people to make a difference in people's lives. Uh, if you don't get to their hearts, then you, all you do is get to their heads, then they're not going to care. But if you get to their hearts, they're willing to give you their heads and their hands. And so a loving uncle carries a message of compassion from Colorado to Massachusetts, going wherever he has to go, to try to prevent another Columbine, to make sure that what happened to his niece doesn't happen to someone else. From Kingsborough, Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.